Hi everybody, it's Ben. I'm going to do a flip cup again. So I'm going to do a colour I find challenging. I'm going to do greens. I don't use greens very often. Um, I don't know how to use them. They seem to be a little, I don't know. The colours just don't always seem to work out the way I want when I add green. But this one is going to be mostly all greens. So um, I am going to put some yellow with it. So I've got Montmartre uh, medium yellow. I've got Montmartre sap green. And Montmartre viridian. So I only had two greens. So I decided to make up a cup which has sap green and viridian. No, sorry. The sap green and yellow added to it to just kind of make one that's in between those two. And I've also got black and white. I don't need to show you black and white. They're just black and white. Um, and this time I'm going to use the coconut milk hair serum um, in, in them. So I put two drops in each cup. But I don't use this because it comes out really fast or a lot quite big so I pour it into one of these little tweezer droppers and the drops come out really small so there's only a couple of drops in each and I mix them up so that is what I'm going to use to get cells we'll see how I don't normally do, use that in a flip cup but I'm thought I'm gonna test it up and see how it goes so ultimately, I've sprayed these for silicon, given them a wipe out. Um, got my table ready and my paints ready. So I'm just going to start mixing. And I think I'm actually going to use the same colours in each cup in the same order. Sometimes I don't know whether I should use a lot or a little. So I'm just going to go with it and see how it goes. Oh, I can see something now I want to get out. That was a glob. Hope no globs went in my cups. So this one, because I made this one up, I ended up making a lot more paint, but I'm not going to use it all. So I'm just using probably the same amount I've used in the others. I'll just have some left over for another painting. And I'm trying to break it up a little bit by putting the black and the white in between the greens. Oops, missed a drop. And this is just one of those, see how it goes. So I haven't, both of those, the green and the viridian, I hadn't actually used before. I had to open them up fresh, so. Let's hope for the best. I just find some colours are a bit easier to use than others. Um, I know how pinks, purple and blues work. I The two colours I actually avoid the most would be greens and oranges. They're just a little bit... They behave a little bit different in my eyes, so you just have to treat them a bit different. But that's also me. I'm. Some people might go, no, green works well with everything, but I just have difficulties with it. I've used it in a few of my paintings and they just came out so green and nothing else that I didn't really want that to happen again, but because this is actually mostly all green, 
I thought, hey, why not? And I think there is a few lumps in this white. I think I saw a couple come out when I, yeah, there is. Hmm. I don't think there's much I can do about that, actually. Sometimes I don't notice notice it in my paints until later on when it dries, you can see a couple of raised bits. But I hope this turns out well. I'm actually looking forward to having a nice green painting for a change. And it might also be a little bit different because I used the dimethicone instead of the silicon. And that black wasn't as thick earlier on. It looks like it's actually thickened up a little bit. Made the paints up probably only about an hour ago. I tried stirring them quite softly this time, hoping that I wasn't going to get a lot of air bubbles in it. And again, fast forward if you are not keen on watching this part. I like to show what I'm doing because that's how I learned by watching people do it from start to finish. One day I'm gonna make a few quick videos with no talking and just speed it up. But for now, I don't have good enough computer skills to know how to do that. I don't know how to edit my videos. I just record it from start to finish and then that's it. So that's what I put up. Plus editing takes a lot of time too. When I could be doing another painting in that time. Okay. They're both done. Time to get my gloves on. Um, oh, also, pouring medium. The pouring medium for this was Elmer's clear glue, 70% to 30% water as a pouring medium. And then each one was mixed one to one. So I put my Elmer's in here. I've got a little, I don't know where, I fill it up to 70%, top the rest up with water, leave a little bit shake it up really well and then leave it for a few days and then it becomes all the bubbles disappear and I find that's a good way to do it so here we go I like that viridium at the top <clears throat> I had opened that before so no I hadn't actually no I hadn't because there's the lid, the cap. So as we can see, the silicon is making it break away from the bottom of the cup. Not so much in this one. It is doing it, because I can see it happening down the side here, but not so much at the base. Sometimes it happens where you're not actually seeing it happen. So I'm just going to leave that a tiny bit longer because they're still working their way. Yep, now it's coming off. So I found my card table, which is a little bit bigger than my last table. So I think there's a little bit more better vision on screen now of what I'm doing. 
<laughs> I felt like I was too much off camera before. I'm waiting for my new tripod to turn up, which I've ordered online, which is a bit taller. So that will actually mean that my videos will be more up high instead of being on this more shorter angle. But we know what it's like when we order stuff online. We actually have to wait for it. All right, so I'm just going to get started. So, tip and cover the edges. So again, all this stuff that is going on the edges will end up being tipped off. I just put it there to help the paint move and so I don't waste as much paint. I only put it on the, the corners and the very side edges. That's enough in my eyes. That cup's looking quite cool. This one's come out quite different. So even though I had that Viridian on the, on the bottom, it's actually not showing a lot on the bottom. Oh, on the top. So it will be in there somewhere. I think it's an opaque. So that could be why it may have sunk for now but we will see once we tilt and torch and ask ourselves where have you gone okay where's my blowtorch ah, underneath my table so heaps of cells on this side none on that side hmm I knew my, my blowtorch does that every time. Has nothing there and then goes super crazy. I'm just trying to make sure I pop the bubbles. Got a bit of a cell explosion happening again. That seems to happen when I do mine. I don't mind having cell explosions. What I was hoping for is something happens with that black and it doesn't stay so solid. This side's come out a little bit more even. This side's come out quite blocky with its colours. But we will tilt it and see. So... Oops, what are you doing? There we go. So I'm just going to go down a little bit first. And I'm going to go all the way slowly to this side. And then off the corner and push off all that extra paint I had on that side. Brilliant. Move it back a little bit. Okay, I'm have to stop for a second. See that wasn't moving, which meant I had a big globby bit there, which was going to cause issues. 
sometimes you can only see it when the light's on the right angle. It's still behaving funny in that one spot now, which means there's still more there. Where is it? It's right in there. Let's hope I got it out. Because it's messing things up a little bit. No, I didn't get it out. There it is. It's messing up my cells. So now I'm just going over this edge. That's done. That really changed the look of things by that happening. I have a feeling that was part of the white. So now I'm just going slowly over to this side. So these cells are behaving differently. The dimethicone is acting different to the silicon oil that I normally use. Over. Down. I hope that I'm actually on screen a little bit better than I used to be. So I'm just doing this a little bit slower than normal. And there's still something in the paint there that's causing it to do something different. So now I'm going over the last corner. And now I'm just going to Bring it back. Hope I'm still in camera angle for you guys. That new tripod will be a huge difference once that's a bit taller. So now I'm just trying to bring this back. But I'm not going to go too much more further. I think I'm going to leave that there. See how this side's really stretching. This dimethicone is acting very different to what I'm used to. So just double check your corners. Done, 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 done. That's the advantage of using the excess in the bottom of the cup to kind of just go over those corners. Kind of just make sure that they're all sorted out. And then when you tip it over, sometimes when you're tipping it, it just goes over the actual edge, but not in the bottom of the over the edge. But by putting those cups, how I did that corner bits, I think it eliminates that issue. So it's it's different. The cell, it's actually the cells that are really different. So I'm going to torch it again, and I'm going to see if it's. So this is giving me definite different cells. I've got tons of tiny little ones popping up. Some might say that's better, some might say it's worse. I'm happy for you to tell me in the comments what you guys think because it is making it more busier.
definitely made it more busier, but I think that some of these cells were so big and not really in shape because it was dimethicone, not silicon, that doing that has kind of put a different degree into it, changed it around a little bit. So that's greens, a little bit of yellow and some black and white. There's little bits of white that are, this area here is a bit white, a little bit of white there. Yellow is kind of a streak down the middle with some veining going through and quite a bit of dark there with some dark here, but that's actually turning out all right. I, I preferred me doing that extra torch. I think that has actually improved it more so than what it was before. It's harder for you guys to see these. I'm annoyed that these trays aren't drying because it's winter because it kind of distracts from what you're actually looking at. So I'm going to pause it and come in closer. Okay, so that is what I'm seeing from my angle. As you can see, there's definitely tons and tons of cells in there. So we go over here. Focus camera, there we go. Tons of multi-toned, multi-shaped cells. Looks like a like lizards. I, I, I think lizards' blood, but lizards' blood's probably the same color as ours. I just my imagination. <laughs> but I kind of like this. So you got where's my finger here? The big cell that formed with all these little cells popping up inside of it, and that's kind of happened all the way along. Wonderful. That looks like a frog's face right there in the middle, doesn't it? Looks like a big frog staring back at me. Bit of a goggly eye frog. Sorry. <laughs> Where's my focus? There we go. So that's the end painting. I, I actually am quite pleased with it. I was really worried about using greens, but I actually think this has turned out good. Thank you so, so much everyone for watching and hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more and leave comments. Um, I'd like to know what people think. All right, catch you later. Bye.